Alrighty guys, we are back. So it is Wednesday. Um, obviously I make my videos a few days before I put them up. And we're just going to finish the canes that we started on. But remember that little purple flower that we made in the last video? Oh, I don't know where the cane is at the moment. But... It was this weird one that we made, and I only made a little tiny one. I wanted to make a big one of those for you today. But first, I want to do the purple and blue that we had. It was the last one to do. And we're going to make this kind of funky. I didn't know what to put in the middle of this. And part of me was thinking of using these two. Oh, I'll explain it to you later. But I didn't know what to make on this one. So we're going to stick with my first idea. Uh, and I'm debating whether I want to make this into a... triangle now or after I get these in so I think I am I'm gonna go ahead and make this into a triangle just so I can find that center and where I want to put these and this is just gonna be a cane nothing special about it no kaleidoscope or anything like that And then hopefully, the next video, we can start putting this together. Okay, so we're going to do this side because this side looks like it's easier to look at. Okay, and I've got this little funky shape here. So we're going to pull it about right there. And no, this isn't the sharpest blade. Okay. Okay. So I'm hoping that I cut it at the right way. So we're just going to take a little piece off the edge to give it that little funny shape here. And we're going to make it thin. I don't know how I got yellow in here. But it's on the end, so I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, so there's three. Ooh, that's kind of cool. And it's not going to go all the way up to the top. And I'll trim that down later. Okay. I'm not getting the the little rough lines that I wanted. I thought I would. So it's in there. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the rough lines out of this. I may have cut it kind of wrong. I 
since it really doesn't matter now. But I mean, if it fits into these grooves, it might actually show up. Okay, so this I think needs to come in like this. We'll see what happens when we reduce it. Oh, I just need two more pieces. together and then we'll go back to our normal which will be just cutting little bit strips for those in the middle if I remember I didn't look at the other video that I did. I don't remember exactly how I did that center. So I may have to go back and and look at that. Okay, so we're just going to reduce this. I think I'm going to put a little bit of turquoise just on the bottom here, if I have any. This stuff is just so hard, I've been kind of struggling with it all morning. some new turquoise or stick that in some baby oil or something and try and get it to soften up so the biggest thing was didn't know if I wanted to wrap this with any kind of black and white I didn't make a whole bunch so I'm just gonna cut a little piece Probably hit pause though so you don't have to watch this okay now I remember <laughs> now I remember how I made these the purple one yesterday. I got that going on in my head and I figured it out. So I basically I basically just made a leaf and then we 
cut two bigger pieces, two smaller pieces, and then two that are even smaller than those. And that's what I put together. Okay, so we're okay. We are literally okay. And then the black and white was just put in the center after it was basically made. And if it comes out a little different than yesterday's, that's fine too. But I really like the design it made. It kind of made a kaleidoscope cane without really doing all that work. Just from one simple just from one simple piece made such a nice intricate piece so I was kind of happy with that and then if it turns out good then I will probably put some on my Mia Mutz so this is going to be for Nana's World Tracy um, I wrote you back my Shopify account I really hate Shopify I mean in some areas it's good but I cannot figure out Every time I go into where my messages are, I have an empty inbox. So I went back into my email where I found the message in the first place, and I wrote you from there. But if you're looking for my cutters, no, they are not on the Me and the Mutts page. They are in my Etsy store. Just search the Creative Dork. But if you go into the description of all of my videos, you will see a link to my cutters. And I have a link to Me and the Mutts. Me and the Mutts... I really want to put my cutters on there and bypass Etsy, um, but it hasn't been really easy. The marketing on Etsy obviously is a lot better than my marketing, and so I haven't put them on there. And the thought of literally having to upload over a thousand cutters with seven or eight variations to one is just a daunting task that I just don't have time for. I wish I could hire somebody um, that would help me list them, but it's just horrible the work, amount of work to do it on a website. But I think once you set up one, you can pretty much copy it, change the picture and go, but it's just sitting down long enough in order to do that. So I have not done that yet. So if you go to my Etsy store, you'll find all my cutters. If you go to me and my mutts, that will be check beads, which I have a ton of, guys. If you love check beads, uh, check glass beads, check a look at my website. I got all kinds of fun stuff up there. I do have some of my glass beads up there. Not as many as I would like. I need to take pictures, which is another daunting task. Um, jewelry, I need to put more of that up there. And I've got my, I haven't got my mugs up there. I've got some tumblers up there and um, some raw cane. That's all I've got up there. So cutters, Etsy, everything else right now is me and the mutts. All right, so here is that little leaf we just made. Okay, so it's just a simple leaf. That's basically all we wanted. So this one is now done. So now we have this. And if you remember what I did the last time, I cut just a piece off the end. Ooh, that might have been a really small piece. I don't know. This was going to be the center of it. Yeah, I may have cut that just a little too small. We'll see. We'll see if we can kind of bundle it up. Or am I going to mess it up by doing that? So before I do that, I'm going to take another little tiny small bundle. Just like that. Because I don't want to lose too much of this. Okay, and I'm just going to put this right on top. Because the center is not that important to me. It's just to give it a little bit of color inside that white. Okay. And now we just want to stretch it this way. 
Okay, so if you remembered, we just kind of did that. And then we made it thin as can be. Okay, I've got an order that just finished. So forgive me while I put it on pause so I can get this in the mail. Okay, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, well, I managed to get all my orders out in that little break, so thank you for that. Alright, so now we're going to try something new. But I don't know how easy it's going to be to line them up. So that's going to be my biggest issue. I don't know if I want to go all the way down to the bottom. Oops. I think that'll be good. Okay, so this one is ready to go. And on this, again, we're just going to make six pieces, about an inch. And, and then we'll turn it into kind of the little leaf shape. So my biggest issue right now is I was thinking of putting half of it purple and half of it blue but I don't know how well these are going to line up can make this just a little thinner um, I don't know how they're gonna line up because it's two different canes and I don't know if I can reduce them that perfect if that makes sense and that's not in the center on that side is it but yet it was pretty much the center on that side so what we're going to do is line that back up. I told you guys, I cannot make a straight line for the life of me. So I'm not even going to put this back in a shape. I'm just going to cut like that. And then I'll look at the other side later. Nope. Oh. Okay, that looks better. Still off on that side. I'm not even going to worry about it. I'm just going to leave it alone. Okay, so again, we're going to hit pause just one more time. And we're going to get this to... I don't know. How am I going to do an inch... And then I'm going to try and make sure that both of these somehow end up the same size. So I'm going to kind of work on them together. So let me go ahead and reduce these down and I'll be back once I get the shape. Alrighty guys, so we are back. It's a little soft here, but... So, basically what I want 
is I want six pieces. One and a half, one and a half. Then I would have to make this in a four. It's not going to happen. So I'm going to try 125. Okay, so we have two big pieces. And this is a little more than three quarter inches. So we're going to make this a little smaller than three quarters, but not half an inch. So Don't want a huge difference, but okay. So now we're going to do the same with this. Sure that's the same size okay and then we're gonna go smaller so we need two and a half inches for this one okay I don't want to go too bad all right so yeah, I wanted to go one and a half, but I really didn't think I'd have enough. So that's just a nice little leaf on its own. So we'll add that to our arsenal, right? Okay, and then again, we're going to take these. And we're going to kind of line them up by the bottom, not by the top. Okay, that one's a little short. I don't know how I managed that, but it's me. Okay, so now we've got the three like that. I'm going to do the same with this one. Can make sure the bottom is lined up. Okay, that looks a lot different than the other one. Okay. And then we're going to put our little strip in the center, which is why I've got another one of these. So let's go ahead and make this even. I don't want it too thick. And I may need maybe three of each. So I might as well Cut enough for the other one. Okay. And I put these together. I think one more will be fine.
And when I made these strips, I'd started at the thickest setting. And then I kind of used the brayer on them. To make them a little thinner. Okay, so I don't need all of that. So we're going to cut it off at the white. Right. Okay, well, why does that still seem way too big? There we go. And then we'll use these strips for something. Okay. And then we're just going to put it right there in the middle. But not all the way to the end. That way I can close it up. on the purple okay and then we're going to use the smallest part to be where our triangle starts now my goal was to get this to nine inches but I don't think that's going to happen and I don't want to do one inch, so if I do one and a quarter, that would be two and a half, five. I would need seven and a half, right, to make six pieces. Okay, so that's basically all we do. And I'm going to do this one too, because I'm thinking of mixing the blue and the purple together in the cane. I don't know for sure. That's what I'd like to do. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to this as I did to that. And I think the hardest part is, is if I'm going to mix both of them, then these lines need to match. So it may not happen, um, but I'm going to try my best to get it kind of the same size as this one. So I'm going to leave this like this. I'm going to go ahead and do this one. I'm going to get those as long as I need them, and then I'll come back. Alrighty guys, we are back and look at that. We actually made it to nine inches, so I'm pretty happy about that. So I'm gonna kind of clean up this little mess I made here so you don't have to see it all. I probably should have done that before I turned the camera on, but let's go ahead and cut these since we can do one and a half inches. We're gonna do that. One and a half and three and four and a half and six ah uh, this is a little short which is weird because I just checked this and it was fine but ah, yeah. Irene 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 Now we should be where we need to be. And look at that. It's the same cut. Funny stuff there. All right. Let me make sure this is nine inches before I start cutting. And it is. So we've got one and a half again and three. One and a half and six. And seven and a half. Okay. So... This is what the cane looked like. Okay, so I could either make and I'm just setting them anywhere. It's not perfect right now, but Okay, so I can go ahead and put all this together like this, right? But what I was thinking, actually what I was hoping, ah, now I know what I could have done. So, when we first made the cane like this, right, and we set the three together, I should have did um, this side of that leaf 
you know, that we did all three and then put that black strip. I should have did this side of blue and then the other side of purple is what I really wanted. But it was already too late when I figured that out. So, unfortunately, I couldn't do that. But, if we do it this way, we will literally have two canes that are the same. So it would basically look like that. And to me, that kind of throws off the pattern. But I'm going to have to do that. Now that I figured out what I should have done, gosh darn it, I'm going to have to make another one, aren't I? And I will probably won't record that one. I'll just show you it when it's done. All right, so now we're just going to make our two canes but I really like the way this came out yesterday and I mean I literally had maybe an inch from that last one and so I wanted to make a nice big cane of this and that way I could throw it I can throw it on my me and the mutts page if anybody wants one um Depends on how small that I reduce it to. I know some people like using it bigger. But you know how to make it now. So I am sure you can make these if you really want one. That's my Makita going at it today. Yeah, it's always hard for me to do it that way. And I know why. It's because these aren't straight. So let me go ahead and clean this up a little bit. And I've got the time. I don't know if I got the purple. Ooh, now she sounds mean. She's got such a manly bark. And it's Wednesday, so it's probably our pool guy. Unless it's Amazon, but I don't think I have anything coming in through Amazon. I've been really good. This economy, I'm going to tell you straight out, sucks. Um... I have a huge decline in sales in my either one of my stores and it just hasn't been a great year so far. I guess we'll wait till after the election, right? And see if it gets better, but God I hope this isn't a trend and it's not gonna get any better. But I'm prepared to go back to work if I have to. Unfortunately, I won't be able to go back into the emergency room because I let my continuing education credits lapse. So I would literally have to do the National Registry all over again. And I don't think I want to do that. All right, so again, we're just putting this together. We'll reduce it a little bit and see how it looks. I 
still got a hole right there that I don't like. Wow, so it didn't really make as big as a can as I thought it would. But I think if I made it again, I don't think I'd go purple and blue. Maybe I'd make one like a lavender so that it kind of blends, but that you know that it's different. So you can leave it in that hexagon shape, but sometimes it's just too hard to reduce it like that. So I'm just going to make it rounded. And I think these would be cute for earrings. Um, you can make some hollow earrings out of these. That would be really cute. It's about one and a quarter inches wide. So I'd probably bring it down about an inch <clears throat> and then make some half an inch. And I don't know why I had to make these. It just, I really like the outcome of the other one. You, know, you could even put gold in here if you want. But I haven't been on a gold kick in a while. Okay, so like we always do, we're just going to cut it right in the center. Okay, so there is our purple one. Let's see if I did this like um the purple made this like a lavender. I could either have the lavenders connect. I don't know. But I have a feeling I'm going to do that one again. Okay, now these look pretty good. So hopefully I won't have to fix the sides. These are nice and squared. Make sure I got the other sides perfect before I get too confident. So that side looks good. And the center of these are coming up a little better than the other ones. And one more. He is a little short. I thought we fixed this already. Okay. Put 
putting that one in kind of, I don't know, kind of changed it all. hearing something clump. I don't know why that happened. So let's do this and get him in there. Okay, this one really moved. Okay, so it's this one piece right there. All right, so let's try that again. Yeah, I keep hearing like it clumping. Like one just keep wants to pop out of joint. It's exactly what it sounds like. Hear it? Can't say I've ever had that happen before. Okay, these are all okay. All right, we're just gonna do it with our hand, I guess. These won't go on my focals, I don't think. I think um, I wouldn't even know how to lay it down. That's why it's easier just to use components for your focals instead of one main piece. Unless, of course, you make this as your base. And then you add colors over it, but I think it would make it way too busy. All right, so now we're just gonna reduce this just a couple inches. Oh, I am just really shocked that it didn't make as much as I thought it would. Yeah, it's like there's an air bubble Right there in between those two. And when I do that, you can really see it. So hopefully, it'll work its way out. I'm not going to worry about it. I don't work with green very often. Maybe I'll make one of these in like a green. A couple different color greens. Alrighty. Almost there. And then we are done. And then on Sunday, we'll go ahead and start putting all the other components together which is going to be the hardest for me as you already know I don't trust my abilities and composition and placement same thing so we'll see how well I do all right so let's cut this guy up and there you go So we got the blue ones and the purple ones. I think those are really cool. 
So before I go, remember these ugly guys <laughs> that I made yesterday? I had an idea. So it was a square, as you remember. Uh, there's the other ugly half of it. And yes, I'm calling it ugly. I don't care what you guys say. It's ugly. So I thought I would take the bottom. And make it triangle. Because I don't know what to do with this. It's probably going to end up just being a base. So that's why I don't really care if I mess this up. But I thought I'd show you. We can experiment together. We have stuff that don't come out right. Well, let's see if we can make it into something else, right? I was going to cover the outside of this with white. I may still do that. Okay, I'm going to go to about three inches here. I don't know what she's barking at. Ooh. Try one more. Squish it really close together and then make six equal parts or four if we decide to do square. I might be able to still use it. All right, we'll do it again. We'll do one more. We will do one more and then we're just gonna square it, put it in a four and see what happens. Maybe. <laughs> I may change my mind yet again. So I'm going to go to six inches. are going to need a break. All right. 
right, so one, two, three. Oh, we've got a long way to go. Oh, well. So I did talk to the vet yesterday. Um, it, yeah, it's my fault. Um, he had like acute pancreatitis and it just, <laughs> it was severe enough to basically, I don't know. I mean, I asked him all kinds of questions, you know, how did he stop breathing? You know, seriously, how did he just stop breathing? But, you know, just like us with shellfish. You know, you can be allergic to it, and seven years down the line, you're not. Um, dog can eat stuff, and then one day it just doesn't agree with them. You know, so he just thinks it was the combination of the bone and the fat just irritated his pancreas. And... It just basically was a downward spiral. So even though it was in, unintentionally my fault, I am trying to think of the good memories and what he had here. And he knew that he was loved. You know, I don't know. I mean, they say all of us, our net days are numbered, right? Don't know if that's true with animals, but if it is, you know, and that didn't happen, maybe something else would have. So, I was in Vegas that weekend. Maybe my husband would have let him out, which he probably would have. Maybe he would have ran out of some, ran after something he saw, got hit by a car. Um. Yeah, I've been beating myself up for two weeks now. And it's not making me any better, right? It just fills up your little tear jars. So, I'm having an okay day so far. I'm going to have my moment later at night. That's when they usually come, when I actually stop doing anything. Because it gives me that time to think, but... I don't know. I was looking at Jack Russell's in rescues and thinking about it. And then I'm like, oh my God, we had found it for eight years. It took us about four before he literally stopped running. Because he'd run, but he wouldn't run away. He would run and he'd turn around to see if you're chasing him. And you start chasing him to go get him and he'd run even faster. It was a game to him. He just wanted to run. But if you went, you know what, Bandit, I'm going back home. I'm not dealing with you. He always came back. He just turned around and came back. Um, but my husband had been able to take him camping, riding in a razor. It's like a, I don't know if any of you know what a Can-Am is. It's like a four-wheel car. It's a toy. It's off-road. And he made a pillow for him and a seat for him. He had a harness. And the dog even had goggles. I'll have to share a picture of him when his goggles. Boy, did he hate it. But just to protect their eyes. You know, but he started doing that and camping and not really going any farther than where he was. You know, he just turned out to be such a good dog. And I just wish he had, you know, a few more trips, you know, beach trips. He loved the beach. Um, so he had a good life when he was with us, but it could have been longer. You know what I mean? But uh, hopefully... I said before, I hope animals do go to heaven because nobody knows. Oh, well, look at that. So that ugly little cane that we just had, we actually made a really nice cane. And I know you can't see this. So you see this little center strip of purple here? Let's go ahead and put a little piece on. So you can have screw-ups, right? Just hold on to them. Oh, see, and when you have to make them really thin, you really need a sharp cut. 
And these blades, I got to order some more. I really like the Thomas blades, but they're really expensive. I really should go to the company and just pick up a box and start selling them online or something. Alright, so hopefully you'll be able to see. Obviously, you'll see this better when it comes out of the oven, but let me just show you the design that came out. You wouldn't even know that it was the same design that I started with. It looks a whole lot different. Now it kind of looks like lace. Look at that. Yes, it's not even. I get it. But isn't that cool? It turned out to be a really nice background. So, we've got this in our arsenal now. So that's it, guys. So, you saw, we did it. We got them done. So basically, we made a kaleidoscope without doing, literally, kaleidoscope work. We just took one leaf and cut them up, put them together, and that's all we did to make this kaleidoscope. It is the easiest way to do it. So I hope you guys will try it. And that's the one that we did yesterday. It, that's how all I have was this little piece. So pretty much almost the same thing here. Just a little bit. Oh, okay. So this, remember this one, I took the white and the black. And I wrapped it around the purple. So I didn't do that with this one. But that's okay because... Look at how much more vibrant that cane came out compared to that one. Although that's not too bad because this could be too bright. But anyways, not even going to think about it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, the next video will be, this will go up on Sunday. Obviously it's Wednesday, so it's you'll see it on Sunday. You won't know when I made it. And then next Wednesday we will sit down and um, start putting some of these hopefully into a focal piece. So you guys take care. Have a great week and we'll talk to you later. Bye.